Hi, everyone. Um, somebody asked if I would comment on some of the photos that showed up in this Entertainment Weekly uh, commemorative issue on Dad. And I'm just going to kind of page through it and see if there's anything that evokes some memories of things. It's a very, very good edition of photographs. This I kind of like. Spock is sexy, definitely. A lot of women responded to Spock very early on in the series. And then, you know, Spock is sexy and Spock is Jewish. That's where we got the Live Long and Prosper Vulcan salute, which we'll be talking about in the film. Spock with Layla, who was played by Jill Ireland in probably one of my favorite episodes, This Side of Paradise. Here's a picture I had actually never seen before. It's Dad sitting in the backyard of our second house in West LA on Comstock. Badger doesn't care. This is an interesting picture. I'll just show you briefly and I'll give you a close up of this. This is Dad and I arm wrestling on the floor of our den in our home in Westwood. What's interesting about it is that there's a picture in here of a portrait photo that my dad took a friend of his, Joby. Joby and Joyce were the only people we knew who had a color TV set when the show aired on September 8th. We went to their house to actually watch it. They had one of these big console uh, color TVs. We, we did not. We watched Star Trek on a portable black and white that my parents had. And at the end of 66, uh, during the holidays, my dad actually acquired two RCA color TVs, and here's one of them right here. That's what we watched the show on. I actually took that TV with me to college, where 11 years later in 1977, it died in Berkeley, California. Here's a great picture of my dad with my sister uh, on the street of our house on Comstock in West LA. You're not listening. Okay, here's some interesting pictures. This is dad in front of the Riv, a Buick Riviera, incredibly cool car. And I was coincidentally arrested in that car for driving without a license at the ripe old age of 14. I was sitting on pillows. I had some girls in the car with me. Uh, here's a picture that's very interesting. There's a woman on the set with dad. They say it's my mother. I'm pretty sure I have never seen that woman before in my life. Not my mother. This is one of my favorites. This is dad with our, our first dog. Brun von Hansel. He was a purebred dachshund, and I loved him. He was just a great pet, you know. And uh, it's interesting, Brun von Hansel, because Dad's first role on stage was Hansel from Hansel and Gretel. Isn't that a strange coincidence? This is my dad with his second wife, Susan, Susie. And this is my dad with my grandson, Charlie Pearson, and with Dad's granddaughter, my niece, Danny, Danielle. You know, I do remember a lot of the early years before Star Trek. Uh, Dad was on a number of TV shows, some of which sometimes he would show up on TV and I would not even know that he was going to be on TV. I would just be watching and there he would be. And one of them, interestingly enough, was this episode, I, Robot, which I just fell in love with. It's such a good episode. And then Dad appeared. I was kind of like completely surprised. Another episode that I thought was very interesting was actually a, a movie, a B movie in the 50s that showed up on TV, it was called, I think it was called Attack of the Brain Eaters. It starred Ed Nelson, who was a friend of Dad. So I was, you know, a young kid watching this movie and uh, Ed is trying to figure out who, who is the, the, the king of the brain eaters and he goes into the spaceship and it's my dad, which completely freaked me out. I'm so glad that they put this together. It is really a beautiful uh, kind of tribute to Dad, uh, his entire career, but obviously uh, focused on Spock, his most famous role. And uh, it's just nice to have these memories and to kind of go through this process of losing him with so many other people in the community has been very comforting to, to me and, and my family as well. So thank you for listening. Hey, give me that thing.